not too many ships are passing these days on this usually very busy river shipping lane. Europe's second largest river has struggled with low levels for months. Grass now covers the river bank that was once underwater. This is not the worst drought that this section of the Danube in Serbia has seen, not even in the past few decades. Yet, a German World War II flotilla resurface due to low water levels is always unique and interesting event. Germans fleeing advancing Soviet forces sank around 150 ships here, including this armored river monitor that's reappeared. On September the 5th, 1944, the last German ship sailed upstream from here. No one could pass after that, as the Danube was blocked by sunken ships. Witnesses told me that their masts, the chimneys and the bows could be seen sticking out of the water. After the war, seven ships were pulled up from the bottom, as well as 20 other vessels. Velimir Trailovich has spent much of his life gathering historical data about the event that still haunts locals who rely on the river. This is Ivica. He is a riverman on a ship named after his hometown, Prahovo. But the ship is unable to navigate most of the river, so Ivica is forced to make a living using his own smaller boat to fish and transport tourists to some of the sandbanks. Even entering the river down lock is so shallow that the ship barely manoeuvres. At the moment it's not so bad here, but further downstream in Romania and Bulgaria it is a catastrophe. Everything has stopped, no ship can pass. The Danube has risen by about 70 centimetres in the last few days. But it is not enough for a normality to return in and around this river.